So, Town Hall 14 is finally here, and no, it doesn't look like this one. It looks like this one. And in today's video, we're going to try and break it down, all the upgrades and all the things that are coming with it. So guys, you don't want to miss this. Let's go. So, here it is. The Town Hall 14, and guys, I have to say, I'm really excited about this. It's been so long since we've got a new Town Hall 14, and this is it. So check it out, this is the design. It looks more like we're moving away from the medieval type of era, and we're going into the Aztec era. Yeah, very Aztec-ish, if that's a word, but check it out. It has like green water, and even if you can look at the, the small details on top, it has lily pads up there with little flowers, and then the pool goes all the way down to the left side with more lily pads. We've got flames and a purple staircase. So, I'm really interested to see what this looks like when we upgrade it to the max level. So here is every town hall level that we will be using to attack with these barbs and you can see how the beam is going to come out it has an inferno tower beam or a giga beam which uh you know we're actually following the line of the order of weapons that we're getting so i can't imagine guys if we get a town hall 15 and a scatter shots on top of that thing well let's go with the demonstration here let's put the barbs and see how it looks these are all the aztec barbs so it's a small beam nothing too big And of course, when it goes down, there's a little poison spell. Yikes. Definitely hurts our barbs here. And that's just a level one. Wow. So of course, this will be increasing as the uh, town hall gets upgraded to the next level. Here it is, a level two. Town hall 14. Check it out. It's definitely stronger, guys. But the beam kind of looks the same. and the barbs will go down. It has a poison spell effect on it, so I wonder if that's even better. Man, causing damage like that. With a level three, we can see how it's gonna look here. Check it out. Same thing. And finally, the last level here. I think we'll put a super barb in with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah! A lone survivor. <laughs> wow, guys. Can he get out? Oh, he made it! Yes! So, use super barbs. Also, this time around, we will be getting some troop upgrades as well. As you can see, these are what they look like when you upgrade them. Uh, the minion will be going to level 10, Valkyrie level 9, Ice Golem level 6, Healer level 7, Wallbreaker level 10, Archer and Barbarian also will be going level 10. And man, they can say one thing, the Archer looks like she's definitely an Aztec character. Even the Barb too, my gosh, these guys are transforming. Likewise guys, some of these super troops are also getting an upgrade. As you can see, we've got that Aztec Barb going in, but it brings out a super Barb doesn't really match the Aztec theme, but it is upgraded. And this is actually with a lot of troops. We are getting a Super Archer upgrade, Super Wallbreaker, Infernal Dragon, and Super Minion, and Super Valkyrie. Now, of course, they are upgrading, but they don't really seem to be making any changes to the design. They are just going to level 10s, 8s, and 9s. We are also getting a level 7 clone spell and a level 8 poison spell. With this new iteration, guys, we are getting some balance changes, which include level 6 clone spell housing space effect has been increased from 33 to 34. Supergiant HP has been reduced by 200. Super Minion DPS has been decreased by 50 HP and has been increased by 100. Infernal Dragon level 2 DPS has been decreased. Infernal Dragon beam cooldown time has been increased, and the level eight Infernal Tower will have six beams while in multi-Inferno mode. The heroes will now be reaching to level 80, and some of them actually are getting some buffs. As you can see, the queen is getting a buff there. She has her ability at level 16, which comes with more troops and more power. 
Also, the king likewise will be getting a buff as well. His ability will be reaching level 16. He will have a little more troops and more damage. Grand Warden's Eternal Tomb will be getting a buff. As you can see there, ability level 11. And the Royal Champion is now going to level 30. Yeah, and she's getting more increase in damage as well. So really nice. So here are all the weapons that will be coming with the Town Hall 14. And as you can see, they're all complemented with the green, goldish, bronze colors that really matches the Town Hall 14 theme. The only thing that kind of stands out the most is the Eagle Artillery, where I do wish that they did change the white head color of it to match more of like a bronze color, or maybe even more bulkyish. That's This is our only time for us to actually change this thing, and I am vouching for them to change the Eagle head, but it has still that nostalgia nostalgia of a white head that we started off with so these are all the weapons and i will be making another video in the future showcasing these and showing you if the attacks um colors and the weapons when they shoot if they're different or if they're the same of course if there's one thing we don't like it's upgrading storages but of course they do have to match the town hall 14 theme so this is expected guys and of course they will need to be upgraded if we're going to be upgrading the town hall 14 so we need more loot capacity for this scene to upgrade and these are the elixir gold and dark elixir storages once you get them upgraded to the town hall 14 theme we also will be getting more traps as you can see we're getting more air traps we're getting another skeleton trap bombs another giant bomb so there's coming more traps as well with this update also we're getting another laboratory upgrade which should help us out if uh, you know we get more troop levels which actually we are getting in this update another noticeable thing guys is we are getting wall upgrades as well as you can see the green <laughs> highlights are going down the wall there and it really matches and meets up at the middle there pretty cool the clan castle is another big thing that we will be getting but as we can see here we're just going to be getting three capacity spell storages we're still at 45 troop capacity and the hit points are at 5200 so there you have it there's our town hall 14 update and guys i must say i'm pretty impressed with what we have so far but of course there's more coming out so if you guys can think of something you want to see in the next video put it down in the comments below so i can read it and we could do it on the next video thank you guys so much for watching this is godson be sure to check me out on the next episode for the next sneak peek and i will see you there godson out